South Korea today unveiled a prototype of its first homegrown fighter jet, the KF-21. At the rollout ceremony, President Moon Jae-in announced plans to, to deploy 120 of them by 2032 and said the country's goal is to become number seven in the aviation industry. Kim Min-ji reports. South Korea plans to deploy 120 homegrown fighter jets by the year 2032. President Moon Jae-in announced the goal Friday during a rollout ceremony for a prototype of its first indigenous fighter jet, the KF-21. Moon congratulated the engineers and other officials behind the feat, saying it has opened an era for South Korea's defense. The first flight test is scheduled for 2022, with full development set to be complete by 2026. <laughs> 우리도 우리 손으로 만든 첨단 초음속 전투기를 갖게 되었습니다. 세계 여덟 번째 폐거입니다. 자주 국방의 새로운 시대가 열렸습니다. 항공 산업 발전의 역사적인 이정표를 세웠습니다. 65% of the KF-21 components are made domestically. Some 12,000 jobs were created in the development phase alone, and when mass production begins, the project is also expected to create another 10,000 jobs along with added value of over 5 billion U.S. dollars. Moon said that he expects the KF-21 project to make aviation one of South Korea's growth engines. The government has been a goal the country of the world of the world of the world of 핵심 기술의 자립도를 높일 것입니다. 전기, 수소 항공기, 도심 항공 모빌리티 등 혁신적인 신기술 개발에도 장기적인 안목으로 투자에 나서겠습니다. South Korea first laid out its vision for a homegrown jet in 2001 and carried out years of research. In 2015, the country started working on the project, worth $7.9 billion, in partnership with Indonesia, which agreed to fund 20 percent of it and receive 50 out of the 170 jets in total. There had been speculation that Jakarta might be seeking to quit the project as it was over GM payments, but the country's defense minister was present at Friday's ceremony. Moon thanked Indonesia for its trust in South Korea in the fighters' joint development, saying Seoul will work with Jakarta to make inroads into other markets. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.